We, we all <laughs> win at this point. As of tomorrow. But this is the great thing about pairing stuff Everyone together, wins. is that if you bring three people together, and you each bring three things to drink, then like you're pretty much guaranteed to have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody watch out. <laughs> I'm doing it, guys! I'm doing chug, it! Chug, I got chug, it! Chug, I, got chug. It. I don't care what you think! <laughs>We are going to eat some succulent, delicious fried chicken, and we are going to pair it with three different beers, three different cocktails, and three different wines. All right, in the way of wine, we have Costco's own Kirkland Signature, a solo Prosecco Superior. So does Prosecco just match up to like the brute and dry and like those sort of things? Like, or so is it all, actually, I always think, I always think sweet. So typically I would say Prosecco does tend to be a little bit sweeter overall than yeah. Champagne, but there are those different ranges from brute to extra dry to dry. So this one in particular, extra dry. Okay. And extra dry is not actually the driest. So extra dry is in that middle range between dry and brute, or brut, if you're an asshole. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. That's how I was going to say it. When you have something that's crispy and fried, there, there's no better pairing than something bubbly and fresh um, to help cut through that fat, accentuate you know the crispy, crunchy nature of it. When I think of the South and, and the way of drinking, I think of mint juleps. Um, it was just that sort of classic like southern cocktail and then I think of sweet tea. So what I made was a sweet tea mint julep. Um, we took a, a simple syrup and steeped black tea in it, two ounces of, of our Diamond State bourbon. Okay, uh, keep, keep talking. Yeah. Keep talking. Uh, and then <laughs> fresh mint, um, all with crushed ice. So the ice is going to melt to cut into the, the strength of the whiskey here. The fresh mint is right there in your nose when you take a drink. Um, and you get this little light sweetness from the tea that comes through. It's a through. delicious cocktail. All right, we'll move to the beer, right? Oh. Yeah. So we got Natty Bow is what we technically call it, the National Bohemian Beer. So to drink this, we're actually going to shotgun them into yeah. Natty Bow style. Oh, sweet. All right, really just gets a full um, is that, the, oh, is, is that the, the, the recognized way to consume Natty Bow? I mean, shotgun? recognized way to any cheap beer is typically the shotgun it. Because, well, I, mean, I, I mean, this is basically, I'm not going to get too drunk, so I'm just going to drink a bunch of Natty Bows. I truly believe in what you're saying. Right? <laughs> you got this? All right, ready? Go. Mm. I'm waiting for the burp. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, that's well, that goes great with chicken. Hold on, wait, let me have a bite. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got oh, yeah. it. Look at that part. No. <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> if you don't eat the chicken, then you're just shot getting beers in the afternoon, right? The chicken is you know, soak it all up. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I, I think my vote goes for the natty Mine goes for the natty boat, too. Yeah. yeah from just because I've like in the setting of eating fried chicken, you know, and like just a light, like it just... It is right. I, I mean, I, I'll give you that. Do I need I, another I Natty Bow to no, taste it? Tight. I'm gonna have to have three more Natty Bows to, to decide whether or not, <laughs> and, you know. Okay, so the winner, round one, Natty Bow, fried chicken. All right, so pairings to go round two. More fried chicken. Yes. Um, and Wait. let's start off with the beer this time. So we're doing the Tangerine Express IPA by Stone. Yeah. So you can actually get this anywhere in the United States. Nice. Um, and it is an IPA, which I hope, like the hops, there's eight different hops in it. So I'm hoping it's gonna bring the different spices out in the chicken. Yep. And there's hints of tangerine, it's made with tangerine puree, and there's a back end of pineapple on it. Okay. Yeah. So let's try the beer here and see what we think. Mm -hmm. Still bubbling. I feel like the hops are maybe a little overpowering. There is, I think. Yeah. I feel like they're maybe a little overpowering. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I can taste the beer, and it's a delicious yep. tasting beer. 
but I can't really taste the chicken. But Gimlet is a pretty simple drink. It's it's gin, lime juice, and some type of sweetener. So what we did to it this- It can be made pretty crappily, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can totally, I mean, people use like Rosie's lime juice, like sweetened lime juice. That is not the way to do it. It's fresh lime juice, simple syrup, like good quality gin. We use our Candy Manor gin. This is a traditional sour. It's a version of a sour. And, and old school sours had egg white in them. Um, you're gonna see this in your Pisco sour, your traditional whiskey sour. Um, you're gonna do shake and drink with that egg white. Um, and then we garnished with a little bit, there's some drops of a smoked cinnamon bitters. Very pretty. Here. So very pretty. there's spices very from the bitters, there's there's bite from the um, the citrus from the, the lime juice, a little bit of sweetness and some kick from the gin. And so my hope is is that the spiciness and the bite end up working really well with the fried chicken. Awesome. Let's give it a go. Mm. I like that a lot. It's really delicious. Really tasty. It pulls the sweetness out of the chicken a lot. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, it's really great. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I dig it. Plus it makes you look classy as Bless you. <laughs> As you spit your chicken juice out on somebody else. So our wine pairing this round is the Cuvée de Caps. This is a Reserva Cava. Oh, okay. Right? So Cava comes from Spain. Yep. Often considered to be an alternative to Champagne. Another one. Another one. Closer to similarity in Champagne than Prosecco, for sure. Okay. Um, it's made in the traditional method which is second fermentation in bottle. So, we've tried all three. What do we think? I'm feeling Ashley's choice. I'm definitely feeling yeah. Ashley's choice. Kava? Yeah. I like that. I mean, the kava's good, but... I mean, I totally housed your drink, and it was so delicious, and I love that earthy heat that came out there from the garnish and then from the bitters. That toastiness that you get from the kava and how it played off of the fatty, crispy deliciousness of the chicken. I yeah. have to go with the kava. And for around 15 bucks, like, you can't mess with this. It's delicious. Like, yours is really good. It was delicious and the sweetness is great, but I feel like hers balanced it more better. I've been in the friend zone before. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. So, um, I I really wanted to play um, off spicy notes, um, and there's a little bit of spicy notes to the fried chicken. So I wanted to create something a bit of like a highball style, style drink. Took some coconut water, some uh, elderflower liqueur, oh, well. um, and really some delicious. of our no, gin. Gonna, one part I'm of each one of those. For the smell. Uh, it's, shaking it's that refreshing. and then topped off with <laughs> a little bit of yeah. a sparkling coconut water. It's coconut liqueur. It has a yeah. very refreshing smell. So it smells like summer. I wanted like refreshing, like something that would cut through a little bit of spice on this. Um, and just... But there's a little bit of spice in there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. There's, there's, some, there's, like summer there's some in a glass, cardamom though. bitters that are in here um, mm. that add a little bit of... I like that. Yeah. It's light and refreshing, um, and I figured after a bunch of chicken, a little bit of light and refreshing was going to be nice. Our selection today is Vouvray. So, Vouvray, it is a AOC, it's from France. Um, Vouvray means that it is Chenin Blanc, grown in the Loire region, which is what we would consider to be the cradle of France, right? Oh. It's right in central France in the Loire Valley. Sparkling wine in general will have that high acidity, high profile, vibrant, zippy fruits, zippy acidity. So it just always pairs well with like fat, fatty foods, greasy fat, foods, yes. like fri those Never fried. Fat, you want acidity. It's gonna cut through it. Yep. So I have pa paired Sophie by Goose oh, Island. Yeah. Okay. A Saison farmhouse ale, aged in wine barrels. Okay and it has like a light white pepper taste to it. You should taste some citrus. Um, a little bit of like that champagne bubbly-ish effect. Yeah, yeah, really, really fine bubbles in this. So there's this wonderful funkiness that I like to the beer. Um, and I'm a yeah. fan of Saison, so that farmhouse style beer. There's just something that just is very appealing to me about it. Um, 
is a very, very nice beer. I'm enjoying it. All three of these paired very, very well. Like, this is a really hard choice for me. I mean, the beer lover me really wants to go with the Saison. Yes. But... Which was so delicious. But with, yep. my, with my personal likes, I love sweets. So I'm gonna have to go with Mike's because that really oh. pulls the sweetness of the chicken. Like it makes it like, almost like you're eating a candy chicken, basically. Honestly, Mike, I have to agree with you. Sweet. The sweetness, right? Like the cocktail was so delicious. Three-way tie. We have to pick a winner. Um, to help with that, we added some sauce to the sauce. Uh, got some Hidden Valley Ranch here, some classic uh, sauce to the sauce. Sauce on sauce That's on right. sauce That's right. And we've got some rooster <laughs> sauce here, sriracha, the classic. Um, so figuring we would dip and sip and see if we come up with That's a true winner for the Royal Farms fried chicken yes. pairing here. Yeah. What is this that's not what you're drinking like that. That's, that's number three. No, that's number two. So, no, no, no. But this, 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 this. Round, this is round one. You Natty, are skipping away ahead. Natty, Natty Bo was the round one winner. Natty Mo. Natty Mo. Natty Mo. <laughs> no, I'm not. Natty Bo. This is a hard the job. The national. Natty Bo was national round one. National one. Beer. Oh it's boy, right what a beer is what it says right on it. So Natty Bo was the winner of round one. Yes. Round two, we had the awesome uh, Spanish cava. Oh, that's good too, with the ranch mm -hmm. in the... Mm -hmm. You haven't even tried it yet! I did. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> I did. Dude, I'm oh. telling you. Oh, that's a wrap. A little, bit of, a little bit of ranch and a little bit of sriracha. Really. Mm. Well, so we're going to put Natty Bo out of this. The great thing about our elimination round is that we're not going to remember no. <laughs> the parameters. We, we all it. win at this point. As of tomorrow. But this is the great thing about pairing stuff Everyone together, wins. is that if you bring three people together and you each bring three things to drink, then like you're pretty much guaranteed to have a great time. Yeah. You start off sophisticated yeah. and eventually you're just like... You know, you're dipping your ranch into your sriracha with your chicken. I would say at the end of the day, there's only one truth in pairings. And it's whether or not it's delicious. That's right. Oh, it's oh, delicious. Oh, delicious. Oh, delicious. Oh, fuck y'all. No, no, it's, it's, does it taste good? Yeah, does, does it, it taste good? Does it taste good? Yes. All right, proceed. I'm decent. Yep. No, I'm an idiot. Yep. Like, well, go back to Moon's You framed it really like, well earlier out. when you were talking about, like, like you're either complimenting, complimenting, you're contrasting, or you're, I don't know what the third C was. F***ing around. Yeah. You're uh, just f***ing around. But, but those, are, those are good things. Like, like, you're playing with the same flavors, you're playing with different flavors, or you're finding things that are, are different, right? And you're, you're pairing things to differently that are unexpected. And I think that's a lot of fun with what you can do with all of this. Like when you take something, like I mean, you would take McMuffins, you'll take Taco Bell, you'll take anything. Like you could put those fun things together and find something that just really, really works. So, but we need to pick a winner. Who's the winner? So what's the coconut drink called? Uh, I called it a tie ball. Oh, the tie ball. I'm feeling a tie ball. I'm feeling a tie ball. Feeling a tie ball. Because, so, th just because we add the sauces to it, so no matter what combination of the fried chicken, what sauce, that bounced it all. Like, it brought it all together and added to the flavor. Right now, anyone wants a bottle of this? No, we I still have, like, it glass. might win. I mean, no, I see, I feel like that, when you add that to like the that sriracha, one. it brings out okay. too much spice. Uh, you know what? I might not disagree with you on that one. So yeah. with the coconut, yeah. it, it balances it. So the yep. sweetness from the coconut ends up cutting through the spice yeah. and the cream in an interesting way when you put it with the sauces. Yeah. I mean, I'll take you know, a win. good friend, yeah. Yeah, like your coconut. Yes. Yeah. All righty. When, when you add the sauces into it, so, the coconut cuts through. When you plan on berries. spending the next, I don't know, 45 minutes to four hours eating fried chicken and drinking, um, obviously there are some great things that you can eat, but um, 
No, we drink. We only ate one we, we, thing. Well, yeah, we're eating. We drink multiple. We're, we're drinking multiple things. We're drinking a lot. Um, hopefully, there's something, something awesome here so that we all learned, um, and we'll take that into the next episode of Pairings to Go. Um, but uh, I'm gonna take uh, for a win my tie ball, my uh, Hope coconut. Hope to the last round, top. but you got yeah. it. Yeah, cha ching. All right, so Proud thanks, so. everybody. We'll see you on the next round.